What's up, everybody? How y'all doing this morning? This is Lonnie Hill with Lonnie Hill Flatline Fitness. This is where we burn calories, we flatline that fat, and we strengthen our heart on a daily basis through diet and exercise. We also learn nutritional facts to help aid in that healthy lifestyle. And guess what today's topic is? Milk. And the reason why I chose this topic is because I was having a conversation with my pop, and um, milk just came about in the conversation. You know, he, he's a vegan as well, so... You know, he, I guess he was telling someone else about it and whatnot. And so I decided to go ahead and dab into it a little bit. Okay, we all know what milk is. Milk is a liquid food produced by the mammary glands of mammals. It is the primary source of nutrition for infants before they're able to digest other types of foods. The principal constituents of milk are water, fat proteins, lactose, milk sugar, and minerals, salt, Milk also contains trace amount of other substances such as pigments, enzymes, substances, uh, vitamins, phospholipids, substances with fat-like properties, and gases. Come on, gases? Like, for real? Let's talk about it, though. Let's see what your milk is really made of. That glass that you drink every morning. You know, hey... This stuff is made of, obviously, proteins, casein, butter fat, sugar, lactose, calcium, phosphate, and water. Water and sugar being the two main ingredients of milk, but it's synthesized by the gland cells of the udder, the breast. Udder, cow, udder, breast, boom. That's what it is. So let's talk about what's in your milk. Being that it has to come out the breast and there's a process in um, production of milk, you know, um, anyone knows that any type of body fluids, well, body fluids, especially milk coming out the breast, is always going to contain some type of pus and blood, right? That's no different from a cow, right? So let's talk about that. Okay, like I said, milk production is, it ha has a very high demand of lots of nutrients when it comes to cows in the udder, which is the breast, which is carried, which is carried to the udder by blood. All the nutrients and things like that that is in high demand, the blood is what carried those nutrients to the breast. In order to produce one kilogram of milk, guess what? 400 to 500 kilograms of blood must pass through the breast. In addition to that, the blood also carries hormones that control breast product breast development. I'm sorry, breast development. Pus, like I was telling you, it has been found in milk, cow's milk. Cow's milk is also loaded with female hormones, being that cows are kept almost constantly pregnant, especially in today's dairy farms. Somatic cells are the white blood cells that are the defense of bacteria that invades the udder, breast. It can cause mastitis. Mastitis, that's a bacterial um, infection, I guess, in a cow, you know, from that standpoint. Cow's milk, now this is the crazy thing right here. Pay attention to this. Cow's milk can legally contain up to four million, no, 400 million, let me say it again, 400 million pus cells. That's what's in your milk. 400 million pus cells. So that actually means that one, one teaspoon of milk can legally contain 2 million pus cells. And you know what the funny thing about that is? That's from an organic standpoint. So let's talk about this conventional standpoint, right? A single glass of conventional milk can contain up to as many as 20 painkiller antibiotics and growth hormones. There was a study done using a very highly sensitive test in testing cow, goat, and human milk, finding traces of man-made chemicals in all three. However, Cow's milk having the highest quantity of man-made chemicals and medicines. So come on, people, let's be real. That quote, milk does the body good, it actually does the complete opposite 
it does the body completely bad, right? Why do you think there's so many health problems associated with consuming milk and dairy products? I mean, just think about it. You know what I mean? Especially if you're somebody that likes to eat a lot of cheese, yogurt, and ice cream. Trust me, you're inheriting a lot of health problems. And if you haven't started um, reaping those yet, later on in life, it's going to happen. Because you know some people, well, naturally, some people get become lactose as they get older. I did. You know, um, I stopped being able to drink milk about when I was about 25. You know, I grew up drinking milk. We couldn't keep milk in our house. You know, all of a sudden, it just started tearing my stomach up. I couldn't drink it no more. You know, so let's keep talking. Now, let's talk about why this milk, this so-called milk, they talk about how milk does the body good. Oh, it makes your the calcium in it makes your bones strong. And I'm not denying that. Calcium absolutely helps the bones to be strong. It, it helps. But check this out, though. The milk and, and cow's milk, when, when it's broken down, it produces an acid, okay? Now, what happens is calcium is a neutralizer of acid. So what happens is when you drink that milk, the calcium that's in the milk has to neutralize and flush that acid out of your body. But guess what? It contains so much acid that the calcium that it contains isn't even enough. So guess what it does? It takes the calcium that you already have stored in your body to help continue to flush those acids out. So for every glass of milk that you drink, the acids is leaching. It's leaching off your calcium. So milk actually robs you of calcium. It has calcium in it, but because of the acid content, when it's being broken down after consuming it, you know, acid isn't good for the body. So it has to be flushed out and neutralized some way. And calcium is the best thing for it. And that's how that happens. And also, there's been studies after studies after studies, right? Look this up for yourself. That people who consume milk, dairy products have a higher fracture rate than people who consume little to no milk. So now you tell me how milk does the body good or makes your bones strong. Look this information up yourself. I'm telling you. So let's talk about some other things that's associated with um, drinking milk. There's also milk increases the risk of prostate cancer. Females, ovarian cancer. Let's be real about it now. Let's check it out. One serving of milk contains 24 milligrams of heart harming cholesterol. One ounce of a queso pack of queso packs 30 milligrams. Do the math. Let's see. There's been several, several, several studies of the consumption of all types of dairy products that was linked to increased prevalence and severity of acne in both males and females. So milk also causes bad skin conditions. You know, acne of the face, you know, some things like that. You know what I mean? So I mean, you gotta you gotta do the math yourself. You know, do the research. Don't just take my word for it, do the research. You know what I'm saying? This is the stuff that they don't tell you. They say, oh, yeah, milk, is, milk does the body good. You know, milk has calcium. Milk has protein. But they don't tell you about that acid, and they don't tell you how the body functions the where, you know, it has to flush out that acid and what it's using to flush that acid, the calcium that's in the milk, which you won't benefit from, and then the calcium that they're taking from you. Do the math. The lactose, and cow, the lactose and cow's milk can be difficult, obviously, for people to digest, resulting in nausea, cramps, gas, bloating, and diarrhea. And this stuff gets worse as you get older. You know what I mean? I just told you, like, 
at the age, by the age 25, I wasn't, I, I just all of a sudden was unable to um, consume milk anymore. We used to drink milk all the time. Stomach was getting jacked up. I was on the toilet a lot. You know, that, hey, cut it out. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you do the math. Let's talk about it, though. Let's be real. Cow's milk, just like human's milk, cow's milk is suited for cows, not humans, right? And it's suited for calves that have four stomachs and gain hundreds, hundreds of pounds in matters of, a, in matters of months. Sometimes up to a thousand pounds before they're even two years of age. Right? Come on now. Human milk, when you breastfeed, when you nursing females, when you nursing your, your, your infant, that milk is designed for that infant. So why is it that we putting animal milk in our bodies? It's, it's not. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Cow's milk is not suited for the human body. It's just not. Let me see. Let's talk about this. This is this is a common sense thing right here. This is a common sense thing right here. This is common sense. Right? I don't I don't even need those cars. Check this out. This is something that I thought about years ago. You know, um me and a friend was talking about it. Actually, Teray. Teray Morrow. He um he brought, he gave me a paper on milk. And all the chemicals and things like that that, that it contains. I, as a matter of fact, I still have that paper too, man. You know, um, but look, here goes here's the logic in it, right? If you look at every animal species, right? When they have young, when they have infants, when they, when they when they when they give birth to their young, they nurse them. But once they wean them off. They no longer give them milk again. The only animals that continue to get milk after being weaned off are the animals that humans give the milk to. We provide the milk for them. But yet when we're weaned off as, little, as infants, if, if, the, if our parents choose to nurse us, we go and start drinking cow milk. What sense does that make? We start drinking some milk that ain't even made or designed for us. Hey, check it out. You know, do the math. You know what I mean? Look it up. Do whatever it is you want to do. But hey, the information is out there. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not even saying stop drinking milk and dairy products. That's your choice. But I'm giving you the information. As a matter of fact, don't even take my word for it. Look it up yourself. Check it out. Check it out for yourself. All this information that I get, I sit down, I research to provide. Don't ever take it at face value. Look it up yourself. Because if somebody gave me some information, I don't care how good it sounds. I'm going to always look it up. Because I want to know myself. I, I want to see that information myself. Because sometimes people will get some information and the information won't be wrong, but they'll stretch it a little bit. Or they'll leave something out. You know, hey, just to prove their point. That's just what it, that's just what it is. But the fact of the matter is, animal cow milk and all that type of stuff is, is really not good for you. You know what I mean? But um, I, I did not know about the whole acid thing. You know, when, when the milk is starting to be broke down, it produces an acid that has to be neutralized by the calcium that's in the milk. And it also takes calcium from, from what you already have stored in your body. You know, so it actually is making things worse. And like I said, studies have been done over and over and over again that people who drink milk actually um, sustain more broken bones and things like that than people who don't drink milk. So, you know, that's just what it is. I appreciate y'all showing up. This is Lonnie Hill, Lonnie Hill's Flatline Fitness. 
This is where we burn calories, we flatline fat, and we strengthen our heart on a daily basis through diet and exercise. We just learned about milk today. You know, tell me what y'all think in this video. Give me your comments, your likes, your shares, all that. You know, and hey, challenge it. Go find some information, but you got to come with some facts. Got to come with some facts because everything that I have is facts. So check it out. Holla your boy. I appreciate y'all showing up. You know, um, take care. God bless. Enjoy your day and be productive and go about the day to try to make yourself as well as others better because that's what it's about. Love, live life. I appreciate y'all. Straight up. See you in a minute.